Hiya. So in this video, we're going to look at the expected value um, of a distribution. So we kind of started looking at this back in the day um, when we were looking at the binomial distribution. Um, and we had this kind of formula where we looked at P is equal to NP. Uh, so let me highlight this. Um, we had P is equal to NP, right? Um, and this was basically giving us where N was the number of trials we did this binomial distribution for, and P is the, was the probability of success. Um, and so this kind of gave us the average value that we kind of expect the distribution to kind of be maximum at, in essence, right? So this is the expected value. Um, and so like this average idea, if you think about it, is really looking at something like this, right? So where we have really some average, where we have N numbers, we add them all together and we divide by the number of numbers we have, right? So this is basically where this number is coming from. Um, but if we look at this from a little probabilistic perspective, so say I have, um, uh, we can actually look at this for how many times a certain XI occurs. So like, for example, say I have uh, the following. So I want to add three, four, um, five, um, one, one, um, how about I do pi? 3.1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, um, that should be okay, I guess. 9, 2. Um, and so how does this work? So I have how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, I'll add a couple more. Uh, 3.141592, oh, I'm forgetting, 3.14, 3.141592, 3, no, that's wrong. Anyway, we'll do some random numbers because I'm, I'm forgetting the number right now. Uh, so 3, 6, 9, um, and we'll add a tenth one just to be nice. Um, we'll do another 3. Um, and so there's 10 numbers here, so we would divide by 10. But another way I can kind of look at this is how many times each number occurs, right? So this, if I look at, so I have the number one occurring here and here. So it occurs two times. Um, so I have the number one appear two times. Um, and that's two out of 10, right? Uh, and then I have the number two. Where's the number two? Uh, the two appears one time. So it only appears one time. Um, how about the three? The three appears one, two, three times. So I would have three times three to the 10. And we can kind of do this uh, for each one, right? So I would have four appearing one time. Um, I would have five appearing one time. Um, six is appearing zero times. So I can put zero. And you can kind of see seven, eight is going to be the same. And then nine is going to appear one time, right? So I kind of have this thing. And if you think about it, um, I have nine numbers in total, right? Or 10 numbers, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So that's 10. Um, so really, I can kind of think about this um, as my probability. Um, so like the probability that this this number exists um, and I can sum over um, this. So in other words, I can kind of rewrite this um, as mu is equal to the sum x, so x being this, times that p of x is equal to x, right? So the number two or the number one here, for example, it appears two out of 10 times. So if I were to kind of choose a number randomly, I have a two out of 10 chance, two out of 10, chance of getting this. So the probability that x is equal to 1 is 2 out of 10. So this kind of formula here gives us the average. And this is basically how we're going to define the expected value. So the expected value for us is just going to be the sum of uh, the expectations. So the expected value of some random variable will denote this as, um, well, e for expected value. Uh, we need some var random variable x, uh, and we're just going to sum over all possible x's. So all x, p of x is equal to x. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, so let's kind of look at an example um, for this. 
Um, and then we'll get into something a little more complicated to kind of see what happens when um, it's a little different. Uh, so here we're going to suppose that we roll a fair six-sided die. So I take a die. I roll it. Uh, it's a fair six-sided die, so any number can kind of come up. Um, and so, well, what's the expected value? Okay, so let's see. The expected value. X um, is going to be... X is number that shows up. Is number that shows up. That is rolled. Um, and so what we want is the sum of all possible X. Uh, from X, probability of X is equal to X. So here we have that X is going to go from 1 to 6, right? These are all the possible X. I can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Uh, so what is this? I have 1 times the probability that X is equal to 1 plus 2 times the probability that X is equal to 2 plus 3 times the probability that X is equal to 4 uh, is equal to 3 plus 4 times the probability that X is equal to 4 plus 5 times the probability, and I'm not going to have room, x is equal to 5, plus 6 times probability x equals 6. Okay, barely. I didn't make room, but it's okay. Um, so here, this next line will be easier. The probability for each of these numbers, right, the probability that x is equal to 1, is equal to 2, is equal to 3, is just 1 sixth, right? Uh, these are kind of easy to kind of see. Uh, so here we have 1 times 1 sixth plus 2 times 1, 6, plus 3 times 1, 6, plus 4 times 1, 6, plus 5 times 1, 6, plus 6 times 1, 6. Uh, so if we were to sum all of these up, what do we get? Um, well, we have, uh, I can bring out the 1, 6 in front, right? So you get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Uh, what's this here? Uh, this is... This is a 10 here. Uh, I have another 10 here. 5 plus 2 plus 3 is 10. So I have 10 and 10 and 1. So this is 21. So I have this is equal to 21 times 1 over 6. Uh, and so if you calculate this, we get 3 and a half, which makes sense. That's kind of the middle, right? So if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if this is my number line, right, where's the middle between... 1 and 6, right? If I look at this as my number line here, the middle part here is this right here, which is 3.5. So it kind of makes sense that our expected value comes up with 3.5. Um, so we're going to stop here for this video. In the next uh, video, we'll look at how this works with uh, binomial distributions, because uh, it actually turns out to be a fairly nice formula, um, and it introduces a nice little topic that's uh, pretty cool. So I will see you then.